Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. If you'd like any of your Ramadan related questions answered this month, you can email us at questions at amau.org. وَأَقُولُ فِي الْقُرْآنِ مَا جَاءَتْ بِهِ آيَاتُهُ فَهُوَ الْكَرِيمُ الْمُنْزَلُ وَأَقُولُ قَالَ اللَّهُ جَلَّ جَلَالُهُ وَالْمُصْطَفَى الْهَادِي وَلَا أَتَأَوَّلُ The question we're going to be answering today is as follows. Can we perform i'tikaf at home because the masajid are closed? الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد وإن the month of Ramadan شهر مبارك a blessed month a month that we have been given an opportunity by Allah عز وجل to fast that many haven't been given Answering this question, I want to say that the i'tikaf must be done in the masjid and it can't be done in anywhere else. The Quran shows that, the Sunnah shows that, the athar of the Sahabas shows that as well. And it also the ijma', the consensus of the scholars indicate that as well. And this pandemic today that we are seeing uh, that has covered the earth and caused mischief and hardship, has taken the lives of our loved ones, doesn't change a ruling in the Sharia. And I'll mention why. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has clearly and categorically told us that the itikaf must be done in the masjid. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, وَلَا تُبَاشِرُوهُنَّ وَأَنْتُمْ عَاكِفُونَ فِي الْمَسَاجِدِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions here that the itikaf is done in the masjid. The itikaf is done in the masjid. This ayah is zahir, that the itikaf is done in the masjid. And it's a nas which is sarih. Also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, وَعَهِدْنَا إِلَىٰ إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَإِسْمَاعِيلَ أَنْ طَهِرَ بَيْتِيَ لِلطَّائِفِينَ وَالْعَاكِفِينَ Baytiya, Allah says, my house, يعني the houses of Allah are the masajids. And Allah Taala He mentions tawaf around the Kaaba, and He mentions i'tikaf. Yani the i'tikaf is done in the masjid. Also, great scholars, imams who we consider them to be muhakkikin, who wouldn't just claim a consensus in a matter unless they've done their research and they looked into the issue. And if we do find any khilaf. After these Ahimmatul Muhakkikin have mentioned ijma'at in this in an issue, their kalam la yu'tabaru ilayh. We don't give a second look to it. And I'll mention four Imams who have all transmitted a consensus that the i'tikaf must be done in the masjid. The first of them is uh, Ibn Abdul Bar Rahimahullah, Al Imam Al Qurtubi, Al Imam Al Nawawi. Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah. Those four Imams, they've all transmitted a ijma' that the i'tikaf must be done in the masjid. Let me mention the statement of Al Imam uh, Ibn Qudama rahimahullah. So from the four people is Ibn Qudama, Ibn Abdul Bar, Al Qurtubi, and Ibn Taymiyyah. Okay? Ibn Qudama rahimahullah, he said, La yasihu, ama wa la yasihu l'i'tikafu fi ghayri masjidin. إذا كان المعتكف رجلا لا نعلم في هذا بين أهل العلم خلافا. الإمام ابن قدامة in his كتاب المغني which is the شرح of مختصر الخراقي he says ولا يصح that it is not correct. الاعتكاف في غير مسجد in other than a masjid. إذا كان المعتكف رجلا if the one that's doing the اعتكاف is a man يعني there's a خلاف regarding the woman. And Imam Abu Hanifa wa ashabuhu, Imam Abu Hanifa and his students, there's another view that they hold, which is that the woman can do i'tikaf in the house. But that is a weak opinion. But there is a khilaf. Okay? Lakin there's a rajah and a marjuh in that discussion. As for a man, he says, وَلَا يَصِحُ الْاِعْتِكَافُ فِي غَيْرِ مَسْجِدٍ إِذَا كَانَ الْمُعْتَكِفُ رَجُلًا لَا نَعْلَمُ فِي هَذَا بَيْنَ أَهْلِ الْعِلْمِ خِلَافًا And we have no difference of opinion 
from the scholars regarding this issue. Yeah, I mean, the scholars don't differ on this issue that the man has to do itikaf in the masjid. And as for the woman, anyone who says that the woman can do itikaf in the house, they need to provide us with the evidence. Because itikaf is a ibadah, and a ibadah needs a nas, either from the Quran or the Sunnah. Okay? Because we can't see any evidence that specifies the women and gives them their own unique ruling, the women are like the men as well. But the difference between the two is the men, there's an ijma' and the women, there is a difference of opinion. But not every difference of opinion is given consideration, my beloved brothers and sisters. Ponder on that. Ibn Abdul Barr, rahimahullah, he said, Ibn Abdul Barr, in his Kitab al Istithkar, he said, The scholars are unanimously in agreement. And the itikaf does not happen except in a masjid. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, he said, فَلَا يَكُونُ الْإِعْتِكَافُ إِلَّا فِي الْمَسَاجِدِ بِاتِّفَاقِ الْعُلَمَاءِ كَمَا قَالَ تَعَالَى وَلَا تُبَشِرُهُنَّ وَأَنْتُمْ عَاكِفُونَ فِي الْمَسَاجِدِ الإمام القرطبي he said, أجمع العلماء على أن الإعتكاف لا يكون إلا في المسجد يعني they all say the same thing هذه ابن قدامة, ابن عبد البر, ابن تيمية, القرطبي all of those imams, إجماع, إجماع, إجماع consensus, no difference of opinion so the Quran shows this, the consensus shows this also, my beloved brothers and sisters, the athar that have been transmitted to us shows so. Abdullah ibn Abbas, as it's in Masailul Imam Ahmed, that Abdullah ibn Abbas rather conditioned that the masjid must be a masjid that the five daily prayers are established. It can't be a masjid that's only open at the daytime and nighttime is closed. It has to be a masjid which is uh, five daily prayers are congregated in it. يعني the five salawat is done in it. Imam Ahmed's Masail in Imam Ahmed, you find it there. This pandemic that we see happening today, يعني this waba, this coronavirus, does it change the ruling? Does it make things different? Is this something that was unprecedented? Because some people are saying, and the argument is, all this ijma that you're mentioning is not referring to a situation like this. Okay, the situation today is different. We're seeing an unprecedented situation. I argue and I say that's not the case. What we are seeing has been seen before. There have been many plagues. There have been many uh, pandemics and epidemics that have happened through history, which the masajid were closed. Let me just mention one to you that Imam al Dhahabiyyu mentions in his Kitab Sir Alam al Nubala in the 18th volume. Al Imam al Dhahabiyyu, rahimahullah, he said, Waqa'a fi Misra. It happened in Egypt, wa Andalus, modern day Spain. What happened in it is what? Qahtun wa waba'un. In Egypt and in Andalus, they had, what happened to them was poverty strike them. The, no rain, uh, drought happened to them. Pandemic. Kabirun lam yu'had. It was never seen before, anything like this. Lam yu'had. No one's ever seen the likes of this before. Hatta baqiyat al masajid. Until the masajids became mughlaqa, the masajids were locked. Bila Musallin, no one praying in the masajid. Was Sumia, and that was then called, that year was called Amul Ju'il Kabir, the year of poverty, yani the year of hunger. That was what it was called. So, this pandemic that we're seeing today, where the economy is going down, people are dying, hunger is up in the sky, people are dying from hunger, and people are dying from sicknesses and illnesses, has happened through history. Okay? And uh, I've actually compiled 34, 34 through the Islamic history, and then probably there are more, but 34 situations where pandemics or plagues, etc., happen through Islamic history. So, what I say to you, my beloved brothers and sisters, is every good is in following the early noble generation, and every evil is in following the innovation set by the latecomers. The good is in following the righteous, pious predecessors and things that they said. And evil is taking the innovation set by the latecomers, those who've come late, who've put down any fatwa you've heard from. Anyone who says that you can do itikaf in your households has given you a false fatwa, a wrong answer, and has gone against the nusus al the Quran and the Sunnah, has gone against the ijma'at set by the scholars, okay? And has also gone against, has gone against the Athar Sahaba. 
okay? And the argument that this is a unprecedented, this is a nazila, this is a unprecedented situation, it needs a new fatwa, awha min bayt al ankabut. It's a very weak point. Uh, anything I might have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me, a shaitan, and Allah and his messenger are free from it. Subhanakallah, alhamdulillah, ashadu an la ilaha illallah, astaghfiruk wa atubu